In this video, let's learn about the histology of the elastic cartilage. The elastic cartilage is also called as yellow fibrocartilage. The main difference between the hyaline cartilage and the elastic cartilage is that instead of collagen fibers, the matrix of this elastic cartilage contains numerous elastic fibers that form a network. So the elastic cartilage contains numerous of elastic fibers these fibers can be easily differentiated or, or can be clearly visualized by special methods of staining and these fibers are difficult to see in hematoxylin and eosin stain. The elastic cartilage possesses a great flexibility than the hyaline cartilage and it readily recovers its shape after being deformed by any injury. So the elastic cartilage have the greater flexibility than the hyaline cartilage. Now coming to this diagram, the elastic cartilage is characterized by presence of chondrocytes. Those are present within the lacuna that is surrounded by a bundle of the elastic fibers. So this is the lacuna. Those are present with the chondrocytes. And this is the cartilage matrix with the elastic fibers. The perichondrium is present in the elastic cartilage that shows an outer fibrous layer and the inner cellular layer. So this hole is the perichondrium and this is the outer fibrous layer of the perichondrium and this is the inner cellular layer and these both constitutes the perichondrium. Now let's talk about the distribution of the elastic cartilage. The elastic cartilage forms the skeletal basis of the auricle or the pinna of the ear and it also forms the lateral part of the external acoustic meatus. The elastic cartilage is present in the wall of the medial part of the auditory tube. It is present in the epiglottis and it is also present in two small laryngeal cartilages those are the corniculate and the cuneiform. These two are the laryngeal cartilage and also the apical part of the arytenoid cartilage that is the apical part also contains the elastic fibers but the major portion of this arytenoid cartilage is composed of the hyaline cartilage. All these sides of the presence of the elastic cartilage are concerned or connected either with the production or the reception of the sound that is during the production of the sound near the epiglottis corniculate, cuneiform and the arytenoid cartilages of larynx and during the reception of sound that is in auricle, lateral part of external auditory meatus, the wall of medial part of the auditory tube. So guys this is all about the elastic cartilage. If you like this video do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.